Welcome to my hike across Switzerland on the Swiss Panoramic Trail. About 3,000 feet, we're gonna get above some of these clouds. It's gonna be pretty cool. There's snow up there, I gotta be honest, I'm a little nervous about that. I'm feeling pretty good about the snow. We're in the clouds right now. All right, I am up 800 feet from the town of Appenzell, or Appenzell which is hidden behind this barn in front of me. We're looking north here again. I know I said that the last view was the last time we're gonna look north, but I'm looking north. We crossed over those peaks over there, those mountain top, hilltops to get here in segment two. Segment three is up this way, and if you turn around, they got a camping area up here. How great is that? Now, I turned on because there's an Alp house here. And what's important about the Alp houses is they're not always open. So it's always good to check your Google Maps and you can find these and they have operating hours, typically small little websites associated to them. But you can tell on foot by the Swiss flag hanging out front. So this one has a Swiss flag hanging out front, so it's open. It doesn't look like there's anybody there. It's still pretty early, although it's lunchtime. Pretty close to lunchtime. Over here is the Alpstein. Some dramatic clouds that are preventing us right now from seeing Santas. This is what an Alp house looks like. Well, this is pretty complex. So they got condos and stuff here. <laughs> this is the most complex Alp house I've seen. Look at this, the camper's broken. All right, so this is the Langastoff. Hotel. A lot of family stuff here. Okay, we'll move out of here. up close to the camper lifestyle I've been to here in Switzerland. And we're through. Look at this meadow coming up. Wow. All right. Route three. All right. So two and a half hours from here to Kronberg. That's the cable car down. It goes to the Santos. That's the peak, uh, the top level of this Alp Hill. All right, imagine this view now for a long time. All right, well, this is kind of a cool spot in the climb. I'm oh, a little more than one third of the way done. I'm 1,500 feet above Appenzell where we started. So I'm about half of the total uh, elevation that we're gonna run, run into today. And uh, just wanted to give a quick spin and then we, let me, whoa, let me not fall down the hill. Let's spin up here. There are no bear, well, for the most part, there are no bears in Switzerland. <laughs> uh, most of the bears and wolves were hunted out. Uh, through the uh, 
15, 16, 1700s. Uh, read your Robinson Caruso, of all things, to get some fantastic descriptions of wolves in the Alps as they cross through Switzerland. Really cool stuff. Uh, occasionally, a bear will wander into the country and the news will track them. They'll follow them with daily updates. The bears in this area. So, don't really need to worry about wild animals, which is nice. Wow. Not all meadow hiking. This would be pretty neat to have goggles on. I'll hold, hold you out over the ledge if you got goggles. Take us through to the snow patch. Hope you're enjoying this, because I am. Well, I'm glad to say, so far we are not going to have to travel over any snow, so far. All right, well, if you like this bit of VR immersive experience, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Swiss Cheese Trails, and the accompanying website, SwissCheeseTrails.com, for daily 360 degree video in 4K. Make sure you download your high quality. It makes a big difference. That 4K feed is, I just uh, find myself watching it just, like I lived it and I'm watching it. It's amazing how great technology has gotten. All right, I'm gonna call it quits here because I should probably concentrate on uh, what I'm doing a little bit more than I am. So thanks for tuning in. See you a little farther up tomorrow. <laughs>